Hey guys, how you going? And welcome to the first episode of this Ashes Cricket Career Mode. Now I've been waiting for this day for quite some time now, and I'm pretty keen to get straight into it, so uh, let's get started. And just to confirm the difficulty, we're going to be starting on Pro. Now if we score a few runs and take a few wickets, then I might put it up, but uh, I'm guessing I'm going to be pretty woeful at this game, so it will probably stay where it is, and the selection difficulty will be normal. And just taking a look at the batting and bowling mentality, and uh, we're going to be a right-hander, and the batting mentality is going to be aggressive, like to play attacking lofted shots, that sounds like me, and bowling mentality is just going to be balanced, so uh, pretty good there, and straight away you can tell by this uh, technical ability. In uh, Don Graham Cricket 17, it was a bit screwed up, it only uh, updated, I think, when you turned a year older, uh, but it already looks like there are a lot higher stats than what you first started with in uh, Don Graham Cricket, so that's a good sign. And taking a look at the role, and we're going to be a bowling all-rounder again, just because I think we had unfinished business in the Don Bramman Cricket career mode. I mean, we made our international debut, but we only played a handful of matches, so hopefully this time around we can uh, finally make a name for ourselves on the international stage. And uh, looking at the batting position, middle order, yet again, batting style, I've gone for number five, there's five batting styles, I've gone for this one just because it looks nice. Uh, bowling type, fast, yet again, bowling style, now there's three bowling styles, now they all look pretty similar, so... I mean, when, you, when we actually play the game, they might actually look different, but uh, looking on the screen here, they look all pretty pretty much the same, apart from number three maybe, but uh, I don't think it's really going to matter, so I'm just going to go with style two. So looking at the skill points now, and we've got 250,000 available, so I'm going I'm to put everything up to 30 at this stage and see how many we've got left at the end. Uh, defending, that can only go up 10 because we're not going to defend that much, and we'll put all these up to 30, sweep, well, we're not going to sweep that much with special shots. Uh, I've got 228, so I might put everything up to 40 for these ones. Yeah, there we go. And for the bowling, I'm probably going to put the majority of them on the bowling, so they can go up to 40, 40, 40, 40. Oh, yep, now we're getting down to the uh, not as many skill points now. We've got 54,000. Now we're 40 overall, so it's not too bad. Um, 48. What have we got? 18,000, 1800 left. Uh, should I put some on the fielding? I put minimal on the fielding. Why not? Um, Put slips up, put some close fielding. I mean, we're not going to really do any fielding anyway, so it's probably not going to matter. So we'll just do this to get some overall up. And there we go. We're, we're, going, to, we're going to be almost uh, 43 and three quarters. So it's a pretty good start. I'm not too sure if that was the same as Don Bramman cricket. I think we started off as 30 overall. So uh, this is promising signs. And as you can see, there is my created player. I've ditched the moustache. I've gone for a stubble. And here's one good looking rooster, as we're going to be Australia as the international team, and Victoria as the domestic team. And just to confirm what club team we are, we're going to be Hampton Central. Now I created this team, because this is the actual team I play for in real life. So I thought that would be a nice little addition, and as you can see there, I think we're seventh, uh, the 7th best player in terms of overall rating, with Jakarti, Wong, Downing, Giles and Beard all above us. So hopefully uh, towards the end of the season we'll get up to uh, hopefully be the top player in the team. And taking a look at the layout of the career mode, it looks a bit different to uh, John Bradman Cricket 17. A lot more compact, which I reckon is a is a massive improvement. And everything's just on the one screen, you don't have to move too much. The same sort of options as before, we've got the training, inbox, my player, stats and standings, fixture, calendar, rankings and settings. And then on the right hand side, you can't actually go over to it, but uh, it says what's happening today, the upcoming matches, the objectives, and uh, our player with our overall rating and how many skill points we've got and the standings, which is fantastic. And as you can see in the upcoming, we play three days now. We're going to be playing three days, 50 over games and 20-20 matches, which is bloody exciting. Now, as you can see here, we don't have a bat sponsor. Now, there's a good reason for this. In order to make it a bit more realistic, I've decided to bring in this thing called bat sponsorship. So it's going to be on screen now. And as you can see, when we make our club cricket debut, we're going to have no sponsor. That's because we've really done nothing to deserve a sponsorship. So uh, that's why I've got the blank bat to start with. And then hopefully when we hit our first club 100, we're going to get sponsored by Icon and we'll be able to choose any bat from that range. And then down the track, when we make our first class debut, we're going to have the option of New Balance or GM. Now I'll ask you guys which one I should go with and then I'll choose uh, a bat from one of the ranges. And then when we hopefully hit our first 100 in either first class list day or 2020, we're going to have the option of Kookaburra or Grey Nichols. And then once again, I'll help. I'll let you guys uh, decide for me which uh, sponsor I should go with, and then I'll choose a bat within that range. And then further down the track, when we make our international debut, we'll be able to select any bat that we like, and I'll, of course, I'll leave it down in the comments below. Whichever, whichever bat you guys want me to use, I will uh, end up using. 
But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below if this, if you reckon this is a good idea. Now I know it's a, uh, it's uh, quite opinionated about which sponsors go where. I've just done this because I reckon Kookaburra and Grey Nichols, along with New Balance and GM, probably top of the range sort of stuff. Icons, uh, an up and coming brand, so I thought uh, that would be a bit more realistic having the lesser known brands at the start and then coming in uh, towards the end there with Kookaburra, Grey Nichols, New Balance or GM. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So here we go, we're gonna advance and let's see, it's, it's October, so surely we're, we have started training. And 21st of October, we're gonna, play, we're gonna be playing our first match. Here we go, the Victoria Cup. We're gonna be playing North Melbourne. So uh, let's get started. And just to confirm, because we're playing on pro, I'm gonna have the batting, bowling and fielding difficulty set to medium. So here we go, our club cricket debut. We are playing at Simpson Reserve, which is our home ground. And as you can see, old Ward Giles is the captain. We are batting, where are we batting? Fifth? Yep, okay, that's not too bad. Um, showers, okay, so this might be the first time we see some rain in this Karemo. 84% chance too, so it's pretty much on the cards. Now I've chosen, there's not uh, a lot of options about uh, which home ground you can choose in terms of like a, cr a club cricket field. Um, so I've gone with the Allen Border field just because it's not that, uh, it's not, not many stands or anything around, so. It's probably the mo most realistic uh, club cricket ground that we can choose. So uh, North Melbourne have called and they've won the toss. And what are we going to be doing first? In our club cricket debut, we're going to be having a bowl. Now the first thing I see here is the introduction of vests. Now these weren't available in Don Bramman cricket and I'm not sure why they weren't, but it's nice to see them here. As you can see here on the scoreboard, we're about to have a bowl. Look at that man. He is a good looking rooster. and. Uh, Let's see how we're going to go about this. North Melbourne, 3 for 98 off uh, 30 overs. So they're going all right. We've got, we're bowling to Gordon here. We're going to start off with a in-swinging Yorker. As you know, I love bowling these. We always used to pick up wickets in Don Bramman cricket. But uh, we're going to start off with 153.8k uh, dot ball. So we've just screwed up the last two balls of commentary. And they've both gone for four. So it hasn't been a great start here. I just want to point out, look how, t look how tanned I am. He wasn't like that in the when I was creating my play. He was a lot wider because I wanted to try and get it as close as possible to what I looked like. And I'm certainly not that tanned, but uh, oh well, we'll push on. And uh, let's see how we go here. We're going to bowl another in-swinger. It's not swinging. It picks up a little edge though. And we finish our first over of our club cricket debut. And it's uh, a dot ball, but eight runs have come off. Back for our second over. North Melbourne now three for 113. I'm going to just start off with a out-swinger here, see if it does anything. It's not really swinging that much. It might be because of the conditions or because our player isn't that good yet. But it just it didn't even carry to the keeper, which is a is quite worrying considering we're bowling like 150 Ks. And oh, what was that? Did he hit that or did it hit him on the pad? I'm not sure. No, he may have hit it. It's uh, not out anyway. Oh, it's in the air this time, but he absolutely pumps it through point. The boundary is quite short here and that's gone for four more. Oh, he's whipped it away, and Jesus, we are getting absolutely pumped early on. I mean, it's a three-day match, but they're playing like it's a one-day, and that's another four, so it's uh, 16 runs coming off. Last ball of the third over. Hopefully, we can bring it back with a wicket. Come on, lads, what can you do? Come on. Oh, goes to the goes on the back foot. Probably wasn't a back foot shot, but it's a dot ball. I'm going to try a short ball here, see if it gets up, see if we can pick up an edge. It's short, and it's... Looks like it's going to go for four more. Holy shit, Holt has absolutely pumped it, and this is not good. Right, last ball of the fourth over. What can we do here? Can we get a wicket? Oh, how was that one? No, how was that one? Come on, has it come off the pad, or has he caught it? What's going on? Oh, he's out. Get up. We've picked up our first wicket. Oh, no, I wasn't too sure what was going on. I was going up for the LBW, but it must have come off the bat, and one of the slips has come diving forward and taking the grab. And there we have it, we've picked up our first wicket of our club cricket career, get up, good stuff, we're going to take a replay of this because this is absolutely amazing scenes as we come in charging in, we're battling all day, yep, come straight off the bat, onto the pad and it's a great diving grab from our old mate, so uh, good stuff, there we go, our first wicket of our club career. Back for our fifth over, one for 23, now I wonder who's going to be uh, Joey Bagel of our Ashes Cricket career mode, now Joey Bagel for those who don't know, was our rival in our club cricket career mode in Don Bramman Cricket 17. Every time we played him, we either got him out or he got us out. It was an intense rivalry, and I'm not too sure who, who came out on top. Well, I know we made our international debut, and I don't think Joey Bagel did, so I guess we could say we won that one. 
as uh, we bottle a shit uh, leg side delivery and Eugene picks it up for a single. I'm just going to bring the slips and keeper up because it seems to be dying as it goes through to the keeper. Uh, we're going to bowl a in, uh, out swinger. Is it going to do anything? No, hits this one for no run. Gonna try a slow ball off cutter here. It worked a treat in Don Bramman cricket. Will it work a treat in Ashes cricket? Oh, it jagged a ton and he's taken a massive edge. It's gonna go for four more, but uh, that's promising signs. So bowling the 83rd over, North Melbourne 7 for 282 and we're 1 for 28 off 6. Can we pick another few wickets up? Catch it! Yes! Come on! Good stuff there. We picked up Francis for 17. Jennings on your bike, mate. Second wicket of the club cricket debut. North Melbourne now 8 down, and that is a fantastic fast bowler's dismissal. Just puts on a good length. Francis comes to uh, comes forward to defend it, and it goes straight to the slips. That is something that uh, I love to see as a as a bowler, and look at that. Just goes for the drive even, and goes straight to the man. This time the fielders take the grabs. They don't drop them, which is fantastic. And uh, now we're going to be bowling to Mike Lindsay, the tail ender. Now I wonder how the AI is in terms of tail end batsmen. Are they terrible? Can we just go straight through him with a Yorker? Let's see. No, he whips it away on the legs, gone down to finally for a dot ball. It was actually a single, so I'm not too sure what I was doing there. As we're going to be bowling to Dio Narine, is it? And oh, it's an edge, but it didn't carry to the keeper. Going to bowl a slow ball here. Hopefully, beat him all ends up. Let's go. What can we do? It's holy moly. Dio Narine has absolutely whacked it. That is our first six that has been hit off our bowling. It was a fantastic shot though. Looks like he's trying to open up now that he has to bat with the tail enders. I don't blame him. If we take a look at the replay, look at that. That shot is amazing. That wasn't in Don Bremen cricket and that is, yeah, I mean, I'll take that. I'll take that six because that was a fantastic shot. North Melbourne all out for 331. Wong with a four for 63. And uh, we're gonna be having a bat now. We're three for 62. So uh, we've got a bit of work to do here. As you can see, we've got that vest on as well. The long sleeve vest. Um, okay, here we go. I think I have a feeling we've got Steve Smith's uh, batting action. So well, let's see how we go here. I'm gonna whip this one away for no run. I'm pretty sure Steve Smith has this ad action, so it must be his mo cap uh, stance, which um, I'm completely okay with because that means we can go bang as we hit this one down the ground for no run. And we've driven this one through the covers. What a fantastic shot! That's gonna be our first runs of our club cricket career, and is it gonna go for four? It is. So there's our first boundary as well. What a great start, and uh, what a beautiful shot. So good start here. Now moving on to four of three. Last ball of the over. No need to do anything silly here. It's going to be full outside off. And we're going to drive it yet again. What a great shot. This is just humming off the bat, and that's our second four in a row. And we've driven this one straight down the ground. Holy shit. That was a fantastic shot. Shot of the day for us so far. And we've picked up yet another four. And we've driven this one through square, uh, through the covers pretty much, and it's a fantastic shot. Yet another four. Right, I'm going to try and go bang here. Is this going to work? It is. It's in the air. Is it going to go, going to go the distance? Go the ball. It's going to make it go for a one bounce four. This is uh, promising signs. We're absolutely going bang early on. And we've hit that away. I think it's out actually. I think it's come off our, off our bat. Is it out? It is. Okay, our first innings of our club cricket career has come to an end. Bat pad involved. And there we go, 21 off 14 with five fours. Just the one single in there. As we take a look at the replay, I mean, I just tried to hit it off uh, down to mid-wicket, I think. And I've hit it onto my pad, and then bat pad just takes the easy grab there. Yep, there we go. Too easy, and not the ideal start. So we're all out for 202, and now North Melbourne have a lead of 298 runs. 6 for 169, we haven't been brought on until the 54th over for some reason. So uh, let's have a go. Four overs left in the day, then it's the last day. And, oh, is that out? Does he, he hasn't picked up an edge, has he? Surely not. No, I didn't think so. And this time he has a fantastic shot through point. It's going to go for four more. So uh, the, batting I, the batting AI is, uh, is a lot better, I reckon. They actually play their shots. Oh, how is that one? It's straight through, get up son, our first clean bowl. We picked up Ricky Eugene for 29 mate, you can you can just get on your bike mate and uh, head back to the pavilion as we see, not sure what kind of shot that was, um, doesn't matter though because we've clean bowled him, finally we've picked up a bowl and there we go, our first wicket of the second innings. And because the ball is 55 overs old, let's have a look at it and as you can see it has seen better days, 
around the seam is looking pretty uh, stuffed and no wonder we're not getting any swing because the ball is screwed as we're going to bowl our fourth over, our fourth ball of our second over and hopefully we pick up our second wicket. No, let's that one go through. It is a good line in length. Last ball of the second over, looking good for a maiden. Have I jinxed myself? Probably. Uh, sure have because that one's gone out to point. Not sure how we got it out there and it's gone for four more. Gonna try a slow ball here. Last ball of the over. Let's see what it does. Surely it does something. No, whips it away. Still no mid wicket there. He's whipped it well and it's gonna go for four more. So North Melbourne declared on 259 for 9. We are now 3 for 15, so we are in some deep trouble, and we still need a further 373 runs. And I'm not too sure how many uh, overs are left in a day. Surely it will come up shortly. I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be around 80 or 90 overs left. But let's see how we go. First up, we are batting against Lindsay. What can we do here? And, okay, we're going to completely miss that one. And we've hit this one through mid-wicket. We've timed it well. It's going to go for four more. Here's our first runs of the innings. Moving on to four now of seven deliveries. It's going to be full and we've whipped it away. We have whipped it well. It has gone racing to the fence. What a great shot. We've whipped this one away. We've whipped it well. It's going to beat the fielder. What a great shot. And that's four more. Right, I'm going to have a brain fade here and try and go over the top. It's going to be full and holy moly, what a shot. Stands and delivers. That's going to go for six, is it? There we go, 89 meter six, our first six of our club cricket career, and that was a fantastic shot. Right, now we can hit these sixes. I mean, we only hit like a handful of sixes in Don Brown cricket. I'm gonna try it again because brain fades are on the cards here as we hit that one yet again. It's gonna go for another six. Two sixes in a row, okay. Might have to turn the old difficulty up here for the uh, batting, but uh, that's a glorious shot. Do I go for three in a row now? Surely, let's uh, see what happens. It's gonna be a good length delivery. And we've, well, we didn't time it too well, but this one's still going to go for four more. And this has been a brilliant start to the over. 16 coming off already. We've now moved on to 33 or 17. Not too sure what's going on, but we're going to try it again. Is that going to go for another six? Surely not. No, one bounce four, and we're making it all, we're making it look all too easy here. So we're on 37 off 19. One ball left to go in the over. What can we do here? We're going to hit it outside off. Through the covers, it's, it's going to go for four. Have we timed it well? Uh, not well enough. And we're going to pick up two. And what is that off the over? 16, 20, 24 off the over. Not too bad. Right, they've got the field back a bit. So I might not go over the leg side. I might try down the ground. There we go. Straight down the ground. No risk whatsoever. And we're going to pick up four more. And I think we're going to move on to 45. Now, I'm not sure what's going on because this is the same difficulty as it was in Don Bramman cricket. But uh, batting just seems so much easier as we hit this one through the covers. It's going to go for four more, and I think that's uh, going to put us on to 49. Surely we don't get a 50 in our club cricket debut. That is unheard of for us, uh, especially considering we were bowling all around it. It's going to be on the legs. We're going to whip it away. It's going to go for four more. What the hell is going on? First club cricket match, our debut, and we've hit a 50 off not many balls. Uh, what a great start. And uh, there we go. Raise your bat, mate. 53 off 25. Eight fours, two sixes. Well, definitely that aggressive factor is definitely coming out as we take a look at the shot that's brought up our first 50 in our club cricket. And uh, as we see there, whips it well. The Steve Smith uh, stance is doing absolute wonders here. And it's a great shot. And taking a look at the wagon wheel, as you can see those sixes there on the mid wicket and down the ground, mid on, or long on really. It'd be nice if they had the, the, um, the length there as well as you sometimes see in the TV presentation. But uh, oh well. Good start there, and now we are on, I think we're on 87, are we? 87, uh, three wickets down of uh, 14 overs. And yeah, we're just having a bit of fun here, and it's absolutely amazing scenes, as uh, Diana Ryan is having a bowl. What can we do here? It's outside off, and we hit it straight to the man. So I think next match, I'm gonna put the batting difficulty up to uh, the next one, which I think is hard. I'll keep it on pro though, because uh, the bat bowling is very difficult, as we've hit this straight to the man. Why did I do that? I've jinxed myself. And we depart for 54 of 29. Eight fours, two sixes. Not bad in the debut. I mean, it was quite selfish, really. We should have batted uh, for the team, but uh, not this time, it looks like. And uh, we're out. So, unfortunately, our club cricket debut ends in a loss, losing by 124 runs. Play of the match, Marcel, with his 48 not out and three for. And let's take a look at our own performance uh, with the ball uh, in the first innings. 2 for 37 off 8, we got pumped there, we were, we were the most expensive, but uh, I mean, it was our debut, the nerves got the better of us, but it was good, nice to see us pick up a couple of wickets uh, first up. 
And with the bat in the first innings, 21 of 14. Love going over 100 strike rate at the moment. And uh, with the ball in the second innings, we didn't bowl that many overs considering the team bowled 87. We only bowled three overs, one for 20. We got pumped, so rightly so, we were taken off. And uh, anyway, with the bat, he was the, this is the shining light of the match for, for us. 54 of 29. We went bang, we had a couple of maximums, having a bit of fun there, and uh, unfortunately we didn't get the win, but uh, oh well, it was a, a pretty promising debut. So here we go, we've got 8,000 available skill points, so it looks like we get 8,000 per game, maybe it depends on the format, so three days, more days playing, might get more skill points, not too sure, we'll have to find out, but uh, I'll leave the batting alone at this stage, it's the bowling that needs the most help, and I think the swing, because we've got no swing whatsoever, I mean, these, these, the cost for these attributes are quite high, so good thing that we did get a few skill points. Uh, we've got 256 left, we'll just put it on the fielding. And now we are almost 44 overall. So something I just want to show you guys, if you go to My Player and go to Career Statistics, you can see here it brings up every format of cricket you'll play. And uh, as you can see here, um, the statistics look like they are kept up to date properly this time. I know in Dog Bradman Cricket 17 they had a few issues, but it uh, looks like they've been fixed, which is good to see. As you can see here, 37 and a half average with the bat and a 19 average with the ball, so promising start to the career. Another cool thing to look at is the Manhattan graph. So if we go other, and as you can see there, we have played the two, we've had the two innings there. So it's gonna be pretty cool to see after a couple seasons to see how that stacks up. And just before I finish the episode, we'll take a quick look at the inbox. So uh, our first mes message was Weaver's looking to play well for Hampton Central this season, of course, but to the 2017 cricket season. Uh, the lineup there, batting at 5 in that last game, and the match we paid, which was 8,000. And then the match results, so uh, promising stuff there. Hopefully we see a few more headlines in the inbox that weren't in uh, Don Bradman Cricket 17, but uh, I guess time will tell. But that's going to be it for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, then please have a like and subscribe. If you're feeling up to it, leave a comment down below. Always appreciate reading those. But until then, take it easy.